Alright guys, I do a lot of abandoned places on this uh, channel. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just need to wonder why a place is abandoned. You know, what happened? And I want to tell you about my experience working at a place called Donut Connection. And I'm sure Donut Connection is a, uh, a great company. But this particular... The owners I work for were clueless on how to uh, to run their establishment and uh, eventually closed. Um, first off, Donut Connection, you expect to go in there and find donuts. I saw a candid camera episode where they only had a, they had a donut shop and they only had a, one donut left and uh, Peter Fine couldn't go home until they sold that one donut. But uh, that actually happened to me. It's actually worse. Um, the only kind of donuts, I was working one night, and the only donuts we had were, uh, were plain donuts. Nothing on them, just plain, regular donuts. That's the only donuts we have for sale. <laughs> it's, it's the people coming in wanting like a dozen donuts and that's all we had. I, th I don't think we have like three or four of those. Um, they they wouldn't like replenish the donuts. Uh, they had two locations. Um, they would make the donuts in the morning at one location, and I worked at both locations. Um, more so the uh, second location, which didn't have a kitchen or. I mean, it had a sink and a place to make sandwiches, and that was about it, and then donut case. But they didn't make the donuts there. They brought them from one facility to another, and um, they didn't replenish the donuts. When you run out of donuts, people just walk in, and you didn't have donuts to serve. So, um, and uh, yeah, that was one thing that, I mean, if you're a restaurant, you got to be able to replenish stuff. So you can't have a donut shop and not have donuts or any way to uh, re restock them. Um, let's see, what else happened there? Yeah, I was at one location that served breakfast. The other one didn't. But uh, they served all-day breakfast. And they would, I guess, make the biscuits in the morning. And you would, uh, they, they were huge biscuits. And, um, I remember working one evening, you had to saw the biscuit in half. <laughs> you had to take a knife that afternoon after the biscuits and set in a, I think they had it covered with a glass thing or something. You'd go in the back and you have to saw the biscuit in half. I remember I, they had like two biscuits left. But yeah, that's all they had. And, um. Uh, I'd sit there, I, I broke both the biscuits trying to saw them in half because they were so hard and old. I think you had to microwave and make them soft. And uh, I think microwave me because I didn't do any cooking there. I think they have the meat already cooked and you microwave both of them. If a person wants a sauce biscuit, I'm like, I can't. I, I was just spraying it because, like, we don't have any biscuits. I, I tried to, I, I think I explained to the guys when I was trying to sew it in half. And it, the biscuit broke. Yeah, I think I literally said that to a customer. And, um, you yeah, know, that, that was crazy. And um, then they would serve, uh, they had cappuccino. Which if, you know, if you, you're serving, serving Starbucks quality or like McDonald's quality um, lattes and stuff, you can charge four dollars for a latte or whatever or cappuccino. This location had a uh, you know the gas when you get a cappuccino at a gas station, same price as the coffee. And they just got the little machine there and they put powder in it. That's what they served, and they were charging like Starbucks prices for that. And that, yeah, that was crazy. Just put the cup on the thing, and give it to the customers, like four dollars. And that had, I had, remember this one woman come in and it was like, "That's a rip off. That ain't that ain't right. That's a rip off." 
you charging that much for that? Wasn't my fault. I mean, I'm just doing what I was told, you know. And they told me that uh, I could only, the only thing I could eat there was uh, I could eat the donuts without paying for it. If I got hungry, they said I couldn't eat the ice cream, which I did sometimes did eat the ice cream or uh, with sandwiches, but I could have donuts. And this is a place that uh, they had limited supply of donuts, and they said I could eat as much as I want. While I was there, you know, I, I think I could have coffee or, or drink or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like I said, I'm sure Donut uh, Connection was, is a great company. It just this particular place wasn't. Oh, yeah. Another thing is uh, I work by myself. I remember I used to go in from like two to six. And work by myself for like four hours there. I think I worked more on the weekends, but on the week the weekdays I'd work two to six, and I was responsible for closing the uh, shop. And yeah, they closed at six on the weeknights and like nine on the weekend. Um. But yeah, they would leave me by myself. I was just hired, and they leave me by myself. You know, I could be crazy, you know. <laughs> And, um, we fried place or something, which I would never do that. I'm a responsible person, you know. I mean, you can trust me if you, um, in, the, in that type of situation, I can be trusted. So, I remember I'd lock the door and, um, we well, yeah, had work two to six and I'd work by myself and the, uh, Owner said, "If you if you get busy, you can call me. I'll be down. I'm down the street. I'm just down the street." <laughs> and like uh, I remember, one day we got busy. And the owner said, well, "Why didn't you call me?" I said, "I cannot call you. <laughs> I'm busy right now. I can't have you come in 15, 20 minutes early. This is a part time job, so you know I can just I I can talk like that at a part time job." I'm not going to be like, I'm sorry, you know, it wasn't my main job. So I said, I'm busy right now. If you come 15, 20 minutes later, the rush is already over. And this place didn't make any money. And um, yeah, I'd work by myself, and they would have like a team of three people work before I came in from opening to like two. And I did it by myself. Um, uh, this particular day, I made more money than they made uh, the prior shift, which they, I think they made like $130 that day, which is nothing for um, nothing for a business like that. And um, yeah, I don't know how they kept the door. And they eventually closed. Um, um, yeah, they eventually closed, but. Like I said, I cannot, if you get busy, you can't come 15 or 20 minutes later and help out the rush. I mean, that's crazy. People don't want to sit there and wait that long. Oh, I'm, so, I'm busy. I got some help coming 20 minutes later. You can't do that. I'm busy right now. So uh, by the time you get there 20 minutes later, the rush is over. It's worth no, worth no time. And um, in this place, they they blamed the uh, they blamed the lack of business on people being racist or whatever. And that wasn't it. You have to run a business properly. I mean, the way you run a donut shop is you have to replenish the donuts. You have to have a full kitchen. You have to have somebody working making the donuts and somebody working up front. I mean, you don't have to have a lot of staff, but you got to be able to replenish stuff when it uh, when it runs out. So, um, yeah, it's just crazy stuff like that. That's like the craziest job I ever had. Like where the people running it had no sense of business whatsoever. They didn't know what they were doing. And uh, so, like I said, you see a lot of these abandoned places. 
Well, sometimes there's a reason, that's a reason why. And um, so I thought I'd just share my experience working with Donut Connection. Like I said, I'm sure they're a wonderful company, and uh, I'm sure there's some great Donut Connections out there. And a woman got mad. The corporation was after her for sales. They want sales. And they weren't making, they have location, not even making $100 a day. They said the other, co the other location was a lot busier than the one I worked at, which I worked at both of them. And I think they made like $150 in a day. So, uh, and that was their big rush. That was a big, uh, that store was busy. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't have any, they, they didn't have any clue what they was doing. So, uh, that's my experience working with Donut Connection. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm sure they're a great company, but, uh, I just wonder if any other Donut Connection people, if it was run like that or, or, or anybody else's experience. Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, I'm out.